Welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see some important questions in the subject microcontroller and embedded systems with the code 21CS44. In this subject, microcontroller and embedded systems, the first part, first half of the part will be microcontroller and then embedded systems are discussed. So coming to module one, uh, you have ARM with embedded systems, microprocessor, microcontroller and some ARM fundamentals are there. So here the difference between microcontroller and microprocessor is very important. Asked many times in the previous subjects also. You might have studied this in your basic electronics. If you know that basic electronics concepts remembered, this subject will be very easy. And also risk design philosophy and ARM design philosophy is important. Embedded system architecture also might be asked and uh, ARM core data uh, flow model is there and registers and instructions can be asked uh, like to explain the registers separately and few instructions separately and pipelining mechanism is also important interrupts are important and uh, interrupt vector table and all you need to study over here so these are few of the important questions from module 1 if you see module 2 module 2 is instruction set of arm and introduction to that and C compilers and optimization so here again instructions like data processing instructions separately arithmetic instructions separately logical instructions and branch instructions separately can be asked and also uh, it is good to write with some examples if they ask some instruction to explain uh, anyhow you have used that in your programs in your laboratories you have uh, executed those so with some examples you need to write as a snippet of the code so that instructions will be uh, fetching the correct marks over there and coprocessor instructions in ARM, C looping structures and types, register allocation is important, instruction scheduling also important and then uh, some programs you might have studied in your labs like in if you take any subject like uh, microprocessor or microcontroller or embedded system, the programs like largest number, smallest number, factorial, square of the number, cube of the number, ascending order, descending order. So these are the uh, program generally asked in the exams so you need to concentrate on those and you can use these programs and the concepts while explaining the instructions or registers or addressing modes like that so better to study most of the important assembly level programs what you have studied in your labs so that that will be helpful in explaining or writing the answers whenever you require that concept you can explain with that program also and coming to module 3 Module 3 is C compilers and optimization and ARM programming using assembly language. Here the endiness that is little endian, big endian, unaligned data. So these are important and bit fields, floating point with an example. Uh, so they may ask uh, about the floating point number and uh, with an example you need to explain and portability issues and explain profiling and uh, cycle computing, instruction scheduling, how it is in ARM assembly. So these are the questions from module 3 and programs on multiplication and division can be asked. Okay, this is this is about module 3. Coming to module 4, it is embedded system components and also some actuators and sensors. So this module you already studied in basic electronic subject in your first or second semesters. This is just a recap with some with some more detail we can say so what is embedded system and the block diagram supporting the embedded system may be asked and embedded system versus general purpose system difference can be asked classification of embedded systems with an example so this question these are the questions you might have already seen in previous subjects which you have studied these concepts so these are important application areas also important and core of the embedded system and uh, ram and rom different kind of memories will be asked and core of the embedded system like which are the different processors and uh, our FPGAs you can use as a as a embedded system core seven segment display and LED is very important uh, they may ask to write the seven segment display uh, codes the hexadecimal number corresponds to that particular digit or some letter we need to display in the seven segment and keyboard or stepper motor control system and interfaces like onboard and uh, interfaces like uh, UART, SPI, I2C and also like Bluetooth, uh, Zigbee, uh, 
Wi-Fi can be asked. And watchdog timer, brownout production circuits are very important. And also you might be uh, getting question on firmware, embedded firmware. Then briefly explain embedded firmware and other components like that. Coming to module 5, it is about RTOS and IDE for embedded system design. What is the operating system and the types, real-time kernel and its uh, functions. And the very important thing is here process and thread. Okay and the process and the structure of process explain about threads the difference between what is thread and process multi-threading multi-processing and multitasking is also very important and what is race condition and how to avoid that and how to come out of the deadlock how to avoid deadlocks also important and system programming and application programming can be asked in different ways and explain briefly about simulator emulator debugging boundary scan uh, are important in module 5 and also we have some list of questions here given as question bank it is prepared by some professors handled this subject you can see over here again it is module wise you can go through this this contains also notes it is given in the description box you can click on that link to get this pdf so these are some of the questions from module 1 and also you can see module 2 questions you can refer to this the pdf link is given in the description of this video you can go there and get the pdf so you can see there are many questions given from each module so again coming to module 3 and also uh, 12 questions in module 3 and also module 4 you can see embedded systems there are many questions covered in module 4 also each and every topic how you may get the question you will get over here the 41 questions are in module 4 and also module 5 you can see operating system kernels thread so these are the questions you may get in different ways so that the professor has listed these and this will be very uh, useful for you guys for the preparation of exams so this is about the important questions in this subject Thank you.